Hi gang, welcome back to Ask the Doctor, the episodes where you send us your questions and we do our very best to get you answers. Okay, so today's question that I'm looking at is from Jack. And Jack says, Hi docs, I'm hoping you can answer this question for me. Why do my symptoms get worse after using infrared light therapy? I've watched all of your videos and have even looked at Dr. Hamblin's research and I fully believe in the benefit of infrared light, but is it normal for me to feel worse after my treatment? This is a great question. Um, I most certainly understand that it can be alarming when you use your um, PBM device and notice more symptoms. But first, let me reassure you that although this doesn't happen for everyone, it happens commonly. And here's why. So the first thing I want to explain is when you have peripheral neuropathy, the symptoms that you experience are because your nerves have been damaged and the signals they're sending are distorted. It doesn't matter what your symptoms are, whether it's numbness, burning, tingling, sharp pain, or any of the other symptoms. It's all caused by the distortion of the signal that the damaged nerve is trying to transmit. Now, when you use photobiomodulation, its job is to increase blood flow and stimulate the nerve to accelerate the repair process. This nerve stimulation is going to cause more firing of the signals from your nerve, which is normal, but remember, the nerve is still damaged, which means you're going to get more signals with a distorted message. But the good news is this is only temporary. Usually this will diminish within two to four weeks of using your PBM device. Now, there is another reason um, why you might be experiencing more symptoms after using your PBM, and that's if you have significant mitochondrial damage in the nerves. Typically, for these people, because the mitochondria has been damaged, when we stimulate the nerve with PBM, it's analogous to when someone that flatlines, their heart stops, and a doctor has to use a defibrillator, you know, the paddles to restart the heart. So although this is necessary for that person, it's a huge shock to the heart. Well, that's what it's like for your damaged mitochondria. Now, if you fall into this category, your symptoms can really escalate drastically, which is quite different from the first issue that I address where symptoms will only elevate minimally. For our patients dealing with this, the first thing we do is drastically decrease the treatment sessions to give the mitochondria a chance to acclimate to the stimulation. So instead of doing a 20 minute session twice a day, every day, we'll start these people out with a five minute session every other day for two weeks. Then um, we'll uh, change that, we'll stair step it and change them to a five minute session uh, daily for two weeks. And if they do well with that, then we'll continue stair stepping and adding more treatment time onto the protocol until they're able to fully tolerate the entire protocol treatment time. So for these people, recovery is slower at first. However, once they can do the treatments for 20 minutes twice a day, these results will quickly begin to show or, or their results will quickly begin to show again. So always remember guys, you can always call us at 844-400-0101 or email us so we can personally guide you through what you need to do if you fall into either one of these categories. Please keep the questions coming. They help so many people.